Hide your hair, woman. You gotta hide your hair. Can I have a Eugene in my life, please? Hey Disney fanatics, this is Otaku Fangirl and welcome to my review of Tangled Before Ever After. Now before we begin, I want to go back to the original Tangled that premiered in 2010. Tangled is my favorite Disney movie of all time, especially since I could relate to Rapunzel's character so much, both physical traits as well as some <coughs> family problems. But when I heard Disney was coming out with a new series about Tangled, I was a little skeptical though. Considering that we just had a spin-off of another Disney movie, The Lion King, also known as The Lion Guard, its series opener was not the best. It definitely disappointed lots of fans because of its certain characters. But apparently my two favorite YouTubers, Dan and Phil, have been featured on it, as well as we got some footage of the Outlanders coming back, so maybe I should just rethink the series and watch it. Anyway, back to the review. We get a quick recap of the 2010 movie in the first two minutes shown in Rapunzel's paintings. We get a voiceover by Eugene that pays nice homage to the original film and he's pretty funny with his lines. I miss Eugene and Rapunzel so much. Rapunzel's sass and Eugene's sarcasm and sporadic nature upon discovering weird things. It's also really good to see some beautiful 2D animation again. The creators definitely put some hard work into this project and definitely paid dear tribute to the original film. What I like about the main plot for this series is Rapunzel's struggle with her new royal palace life. She is out of her tower, but the palace is another tower in itself. She is surrounded by loving family members and friends, but at the same time, she is still trapped, not able to enjoy her real freedom and explore the world world as she desires. She wants to go on adventures and find out more about herself, but she is stopped by her overprotective father. He is basically the stereotypical overprotective type, but with good reason. Since his daughter was taken for 18 years and missing, he does feel a strong need to protect her. I do like, however, that the king is aware how difficult it is to separate his royal duties as king from his personal matters with his newly discovered teenage daughter, and he apologizes for his actions, but unfortunately, the king does pull off a very jerk move by forbidding Rapunzel to leave the kingdom and telling anyone about the magic that she now possesses from her hair. I love the mother-daughter relationship present in this special though. The mother encourages Rapunzel to follow her dreams of adventure and freedom through her experiences as her own as a young teenager. She basically encourages Rapunzel to just be herself at her own pace. There's no rush in being queen as well as there's no pressure to try to be a perfect queen. And can we please talk about that proposal scene because you're my light. You're my best friend, and I want to be your partner in all things. Oh the writers did a great job of making Rapunzel feel trapped. She feels pressure to please everyone in the kingdom, but also wants the freedom to do what she wants and explore the world. I love how much Eugene cares about Rapunzel, trying to give her space and time to think about their future together as a couple and not rush anything for their future. I also really like the new character of Cassandra. Like Rapunzel, Cassandra also does not just want to be a lady-in-waiting and explore the world around her with Rapunzel. I also like how she teases Eugene. It's so cute. We also get a couple scenes flashing back to original Disney, such as Princess and the Frog and Sleeping Beauty. Kinda, without that explosion part. It is interesting that touching the stone made Rapunzel's hair grow back and become indestructible. Maybe we'll learn that Elsa's mom consumed an ice flower in the Frozen sequel. Unfortunately, another character, Lady Kane, was not an intimidating villain. Her backstory was pretty weak, but her arm tattoo was pretty sweet, and I liked her hair design. Hopefully we'll see more of her in the future series. The series does feature a couple songs, but my favorite has to be the main one, Wind in My Hair. It's just a great song that inspires people to try to to find yourself in the world through the grand adventure of life and just try new things and get out into the world and discover your passion and what you love. Overall, I feel like this was a very satisfactory and pleasing sequel to the original movie. I would definitely recommend watching this if you're into Tangled or any Disney series like I am. 4.8 out of 5. Be sure to like and subscribe for more new videos and please check out my AMV channel. Bye! Seriously, where was Elsa and Anna in this movie? Rapunzel showed up for their coordination.